Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV, freestyle, racing, acro, drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then let's get into it. Today's lesson is going to be a bit of a chore that many of you are going to hate, but we got to do it. Uh, for this lesson, we're going to load up the level minus two. We're going to load up the level minus two. And minus two is a giant pain in the butt because it is a parking garage. Uh, and the thing about a parking garage is it has a roof. So it is going to keep you honest about your throttle management. This is where we really start to find out how good you are. It's easy to fool yourself into thinking, I mean, some of you guys are going, no, no, I know I suck. I know I suck. Please don't. Yeah. But if you have like, oh, I got this, I'm doing great. We're going to find out. And if you can do this, you really are doing great. Uh, but we're going to give it a try. And then if you hate it, you never want to do it again, we will stop doing it. What you're going to do is you're going to see that here in minus two, let's see, I have two meters to work with. I have two freaking meters to work with. So I'm going to take off and I'm going to climb to, I don't know, one meter. <laughs> Anywhere in between the ceiling and the floor is fine. And you see my drone is immediately drifting. And I'm just going to try to use the throttle to stay off the floor and stay off the ceiling and fly straight forward as slowly as you need to while adjusting the throttle to stay off the floor and the ceiling. So try not to do this. Boinkity, 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 boink. We're just resting on the floor. And if you start getting out of control, uh, what I see some people do is they will set down and just coast on the floor and then they'll yaw to turn and face a new direction. That's fine, that's fine. You know, nobody's like looking over your shoulder here. We're gonna take off and we're gonna pitch forward and we're gonna try fly slowly just in a straight line. Just in a straight line while maintaining our altitude. And my goodness, if you can do this, you're doing actually pretty freaking well. Because this is hard. When we get to the end, we will stop and reset. Okay? Now, if you're having a great time doing that and you're like, Bard, well, that's easy. I can do that. Okay, fine. We're going to add turning. And I don't even care where you turn. We're just going to pick a pillar and we're going to turn around that pillar. And if you can make a 90 degree turn without just going ah, 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 all into the ceiling, you're doing great. We're going to pick a pillar and we're going to turn and we will make a 180 turn, 180 degree turn and come down the next direction. Turn to the left. Well, we got to stay symmetrical, right? We'll turn to the right. Try to manage your speed. I'm actually going probably faster than you should be. Oh, I undershot that one. You see, I'm looking at the pillar. I'm just going to roll to the left and slide over a little bit. Get myself established on this new line. And away we go. And if you find yourself going super fast in a straight line, remember, you can pitch back. You can slow down. Get your speed under control. And we will take another turn. Start making turns. But what we're looking for is the ability to fly through here in any in any pattern. I don't care. Just fly straight, make a turn, fly straight. And we're just going to focus on making those tiny precise throttle movements and tiny little movements of the sticks to keep our speed under control. Keep our speed under control and keep our altitude under control. And I hope that for some of you, this has been humbling. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Ultimately, you may get to a point where you can go fast and have great control. Oh, 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 bounce off the floor there. Nobody's perfect. Uh, that's it. That's today. Today, I challenge you with this. Work on this for a half hour minimum. Right? 
Just feel the pain. Really suffer. And come back and do some fun stuff. That's it. See you in the next one.